Welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's attempt to take on the Jack of Scales. You have taken one of my symbols, but now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at stake, and I do not intend to lose it. Scales. I have saved the Lizardmen for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no weapon I will not use against you. Yeah, I'm curious what the lizard men are going to be like. So the normal kind of dusty bandit people are pretty damn easy, with the only recent change has been the introduction of the uh, throwing daggers, basically. But aside from that, they're pretty easy. And then there's the, sk the skulls, which are also very, very easy, although there are some ranged versions of them with guns. And then there was the Ratmen, which are very hard because they tend to have huge groups and they're very fast to attack, and they also leave behind poison. So I'm curious how these are going to be different. Should be able to do this without taking any damage. <coughs> Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I haven't played in uh, one day, so all my skills just disappeared. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's perfectly normal. Jesus Christ. Okay, the traps got harder. Holy shit, the traps got way harder. Cool. Alright, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna call this a success. This is a perfect start to this run. Could not have gone better. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Every tool a mage can create may be used against them. Hits on the player have a 20% chance of creating a mage shield around them. Hmm. I wonder how the mage shield actually works. Maybe it uh, makes you invulnerable for a certain amount of time? Nice. Distinctly average. What do you expect me to say? Congratulations. Yeah, let's get it. What could go wrong? Surely I won't fall down the twisted canyon and break my neck. Track the top one, track the top one, track the top one. A choice. Select your desire. This mace inflicts more damage the lower the health of the wielder is. Well, I'm going to be a god, right up until the minute that I stub my toe and die. As pleases you. Hmm. Aha! The Count enters the picture. On a dark moonless night, down a lonely road, you encounter a hooded stranger. Greetings, friend. I am in need of some sustenance. I think it eats souls. Would you be willing to offer some of your vigor in exchange for gold? He asks, taking out a bag of coins. Oh, I, I was joking. He, <laughs> he actually seems to eat souls, basically. Well, it turns out vigor is the one thing I am not in abundance of. So, no. As you wish. The stranger remarks and melts into the shadows.
An expedition. Press on. I appreciate your efforts. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. A ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. How will you cross this time? So I believe I've tried to cross this two times and I've never gotten a great success. And this time I don't have light armor, which means it might be harder, but let's try it. Uh, I think this one is huge f I don't know if it's huge failure. I think this one is failure, but I'm not sure about what the other ones are. So assuming I tracked it correctly, then I can eliminate one. So let's go with that. Okay, cool. I'll take it. As you swim, you notice some gleaming stones on the riverbed. If you had lighter armor, you could attempt to die for them safely. The crossing is not easy, but you make it in one piece. Yeah, so if you don't have light armor, you can't even complete that and get the token. The most you can do is simply not take damage. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. Wow, okay, I've barely explored the dungeon. But I also barely have any food, so I think I just have to go. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Charity too. Well, this time I can't give you my food. In fact, I think I'm the charity case. Win this and claim my token. Yeah, he begs for food to feed the orphans. Nope. Then the children will go hungry this winter. I'm gonna go hungry right now. I'm not too worried about this winter. Food, please. Your provisions are running low. Can you press on? A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. One day, you happen upon a young wizard practicing his magic in the forest. He greets you in a friendly manner and beckons you closer. I am but an apprentice wizard, with many debts to my mentors. For a small fee, I could transport you to a destination in a faraway land. Uh... What's the destination do I get to pick? Sure... You hand over the gold and the wizard prepares himself for casting. Oh, I got the token. The young wizard waves his hand, uh, waves his wand, saying, Don't worry, I'm almost always successful in transporting myself to other places. Luggage is a little trickier. After arriving at your destination, you continue your journey. The token is yours. Let us see what you do with your newfound abilities. So did this just teleport me to, like, the next level? I don't know. A treasure chest. What more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? This is the one where you have to pass two tests to actually get it open, right? The first one is to not take damage getting to it, and the second one is to actually open it? Hmm. I'm gonna do it. Okay, two failure, two success. Track the top, track the top. Okay, the top one was success. I think it's this one? Damn it! You move forward carefully, but suddenly hear a click. The room begins to fill with a deadly guess. Attempt to escape. Okay, same as before. Track the top. Oh, this one's easy. You dive through the billowing clouds to reach the other side safely. You approach the treasure chest. Okay, so yeah, if you if you succeed the first one, then you have to pass the second one to actually open the, the chest. If you don't succeed the first one, then you have to pass another one to avoid, I guess, taking damage or something from the trap. 
So it looks like you have to pass anywhere between two and three card tests, or or whatever you call those little mini games. We play for a token now. All right, here we go. Come on. There's only one failure. I can't fail this. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I didn't take any damage, so no harm done, but damn it. It's the second time. I'm never going to open that damn chest. Okay, I need food now. Hungry mouths. War leaves nothing else. While crossing a forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman. Greetings, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. Oh, is this a trap? In exchange for some food, I will tell you everything I know about these lands. I, I literally have no food. Oh. Goodbye then, stranger, the woman says, waiting for you to move on. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to lose 10 health on this next move. Ugh. What an ignominious way to go. I do hope you find something to eat soon. Oh, this one is... This encounter is really hard. There's a bunch of those little mini-games. Again, a token is at stake. Let's see how we fare. Ah. <sighs> A black cat darts out and weaves between your legs. Distracted, you take a wrong turn and wander down a darkened alley. Did something bad happen? Oh, I guess we're about to find out. Um. Choose from these options. Okay, this one is failure. I tracked that one, but I'm not sure about the others. So I have a two in three chance of getting something good. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 the one I thought was failure was actually huge success. Okay, I didn't track that very well. Genuine unicorn tonic can cure any injury, whether from sword or claw. A man calls, holding up a bottle. He suddenly slashes your arm with a knife, and as you open your mouth to, pro to protest, he flicks the bottle, splashing some of the tonic on you. You start to reach for your weapon, but then stop. The crowd leans in and watches the wound in your arm. Watch as the wound in your arm closes before your very eyes. Made from genuine unicorns and seven secret ingredients. Available here for only one night. One health gain guard. Ooh, I could really use that. Thank you. Oh, thank God. The pendulum can swing both ways. Rocking that 69 HP. The crowd surges forward to buy this miracle potion. And you walk on, smelling of ground up unicorn horn, elvish blood, ratman sweat, and several other pungent odors you can't identify. Sometime later, you find yourself standing at the edge of the forest to the sounds of the crowd behind you. Oh, this is, yeah, the same as before. Day's just dawning, which day? Okay. That's the end of it. Man, I'm just gonna, like, limp my way to the end boss with ten hit points. <laughs> I'm so dead. The lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. Monster guard? Two of scales? Okay, so we get to fight the lizard men for the first time. Uh, I don't have a shield, do I? Oh, no, I do. Oh, that's right, I start with one. Yeah, duh. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, in small numbers, they're not too hard. That fire did a lot of damage, though. Two gain cards, please give me food. 
<laughs> One food. A little food. Not a great change, but enough to switch the odds a little. Yes, emphasis on little. Okay. Alright, we stand a slight fighting chance. Uh, I should be able to afford like one, maybe two food. Let's go ahead and sell the axe. Okay, eight food. That's decent. What are you going to give me today? Hmm. Every third encounter does not consume food. That's actually very good in my situation. I don't suppose the priest has extra cheap food? Or heals? Well, I could sell my old shield. Yeah, let's do that. Now you can counter opponents if your timing is right. Can't even do that, but I can buy food. Okay, this is excellent. Um, what do I go for? I should probably go for food. I mean, I could get healed, but I think food would probably be more efficient. Or wait, would it? Hmm. That depends on whether I'm going to encounter the lizard men at the end of this level, because if I'm going to encounter them, then I think I actually want health, because the food will last me until the end of this dungeon. But if I'm not, then I want more food for the next level. But I feel like I've gone up many, many levels, so I feel like this is it. Let's just go for supplies. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to go back and forth and uh, heal some hit points. Actually, I'll probably just heal up to max. And every third encounter shouldn't consume food, so let's check that. Yeah, there we go. Didn't consume food. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to do this whole song and dance every single time. Yes, yes, yes. Pass it by. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Okay, that should be enough. Up to 91. Hmm. I have always felt a kinship to the puppy. Together we help you forget. And also recall. I think I'm gonna have a drug trip. If I remember right, this like randomizes the... the dungeon or something. You wander among a field of poppies. Too late, you realize that the poppies are making you sleepy. Hmm. You wake up groggy and disoriented. Great. Or disorientated. Well, thankfully I still have 15 foods, so it's not a big deal. Here we go. Now, a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. Well, if you expect greatness, then I think I'm going to let you down. I guess I, I guess I'm actually in pretty good condition, though, aren't I? I don't have time heals or anything like that, but I do have a good shield. I have a very good weapon, medium armor. I've got the mage's mask, and I'm at full hit points. Yeah. 
Let's see. This Lizardman's potency allows him to nullify the magical abilities of the player's weapons and artifacts. Their latent magical abilities make these Lizardmen feared by all, even their own kind. The magical abilities of the player's weapons and artifacts. Okay, well I don't have any artifacts, and as far as the magical abilities of my weapon goes, I don't know if I have any. I mean, it does more damage the less health I have. Maybe it would nullify that effect. But, yeah, that doesn't seem too bad to me. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Here we go. Going to definitely go for the lizard men first. <laughs> it is on person. Oh, okay, that is a large range. And he attacks multiple times. They're very good at shielding themselves. Hit him when he's down! This is going to take a while. I do love the fact that he hits his own people. It's very convenient. Alright, that's two down. Two more to go. You and me, come on. Really easy. Wow. Hmm. Well played. Well played indeed. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. Looks like we get a bunch of upgrades. You move with increased speed. Start with more food, thank god. Starting gear is upgraded. Hmm, the Ratmen have gotten stronger. Bandit health increased, Lizardmen strength increased, okay. 
So I am better and so are they. The wand represents my will in the purest sense. It is not too late for you to give up now. Go peacefully to your fate and leave me to mine. You begin to assemble a credible deck. Let us see what happens next. Surprise! That is not a pleasant surprise. Can you imagine just walking and then suddenly a portal opens up under your feet and you just appear somewhere else? Violently falling on the ground? That would not be pleasant. The Lizard Dome. That sounds cool. Halfway done. Let us continue. Into the depths we go, searching for the dead and dying. I am incredibly surprised that such a horrible, horrible start to that journey actually ended up with me defeating the boss in like 25 minutes or less. That is, that's pretty incredible. I thought I was dead for sure, like I thought that run was doomed right from the start. Whenever the player purchases a new item, they gain a curse. Oh my god! That is really harsh. All traders have been persuaded to offer cheaper items. Hmm. So much death and sorrow in the world. Can you hear the winds keening in loss? Can you hear the dirges as the trees and the earth cry out in sorrow? This is the Queen of Skulls. And that is all she can hear. It has driven her to madness. Her touch is the promise of death. And I say to you, you were warned. Farewell. Alright, so if I'm gonna be fighting the... If I'm gonna be fighting the undead, then I think I want Undead Bane. So I don't actually need to add or change any cards, but yeah, let's strategize a little bit. So let's see what I can replace with something that's particularly good at fighting the undead. Uh, Frost Fang's good, but I don't think it's good at undead, right? It's not a holy weapon. Yeah, so that's holy. That is not. Oh, whoops. I think hammers... Are hammers all holy? No, this one is not. Alright, so let's dump that out. Put in Undead Bane. Are the maces holy? Yes. Hmm. Um, I don't want to put them in, though. They don't do that much damage, and these are just too damn cool. Well. I could toss out Frostfang. It's so useful, though, that freeze, even though it doesn't do much damage. Ah, let's toss it out anyway. Okay, any new items? Armor of Cold. Antlers. Uh, let's see if we can throw that in. What can I toss? Let's toss the Mage's Mask. Let's see, did I solve any of these encounters? Field of Poppies. I don't really think I want the Field of Poppies in there. Yeah, no thanks. Let's, let's dump that. The Apprentice. in the Lizard Dome and whatever else I just tossed in. Holy Forge. Sounds good. Yeah, so I intended to end this episode with just that one run because I was expecting it to last longer, but given how quick it is, let's go again. Let me just butt in here for a second. This is future me talking to you from after I recorded the episode. This next run that I do actually ends up taking a lot longer than I expected, so if I left it in as one episode, the whole thing would be well over an hour long. So instead, I'm just going to cut it off into a separate episode and end right here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.